beloved and prolific flats guide Joe Gonzalez fished over 300 days a year for decades. It's been said that Joe might have had a little bit of bonefish DNA in him and that he personally knew all the bonefish in Biscayne Bay. But when people speak of Captain Joe Gonzalez, they don't remember him for the countless number of fish he put his clients on over a remarkable 30-year career. They remember him for his compassion and his curiosity, his love of faith, family, and conservation. A Florida native, Gonzalez began exploring the waters of Biscayne Bay, the Florida Keys, and the Bahamas at a young age. His love of fishing became a love of guiding, and over his 30-year career, he earned a reputation for putting clients on large bonefish and permit. He was patient and positive. He ran funny bone charters with a smile on his face, and after an exciting catch, he once apologized to a client. I'm not screaming at you, I'm screaming for you, he said. He formed a team with his anglers, and his trademark words from the polling platform were, stay with me, stay with me. While his many years of action on the water brought fame as a top-tier guide in Biscayne Bay, Joe Gonzalez may be best remembered for his friendly demeanor, sense of humor, and willingness to share his deep knowledge of the fishery, whether it was on the water, at the dock, or on many television and podcast appearances. His generous nature was his most endearing trait. Stories abound of Joe stopping in his tracks to help a stranger load a waterlogged kayak onto a roof rack or taking the time to share real knowledge with up-and-coming guides so they could become masters of their craft. Competition be damned. He was a man of faith who listened to worship music with his beloved wife, Angie. When some would swear, Joe would cry, Oh, my lanta! Captain Gonzalez led other guides by example, not only for his dedication to conservation, but also his kindness to his customers. Joe had a positive impact on every angler fortunate enough to share a day with him on a skiff. He was fluent in Spanish and was asked to visit Venezuela to speak about the importance of protecting the fishery. While there, he saw a community of competitive guides who quarreled and fought. Joe's teachings went beyond conservation, and he showed pragmatic reasons why a peaceful and professional harbor was best for both captains and the customers. Joe's prolific work with Bonefish and Tarpon Trust's tagging program was the confluence of his passions for angling and conservation. He tagged an astounding 1,324 bonefish for BTT's study, more than any other participant. Of those 1,300 tagged fish, 60 were recaptured, including one remarkable fish that was first tagged by Joe in Biscayne Bay and a year later, recaptured off of Andros in the Bahamas. The find sparked new interest in the tagging and recapture program, which helped provide a better understanding of bonefish movements in the Keys. One remarkable and humble fish inspired research and conservation, just like the angler who caught it. So the next time you're lucky enough to catch a bonefish, before you release it, take a quick look into those mirrored scales. It has been said, that Joe had some bonefish DNA. So you might see a bit of Captain Joe, our remarkable and humble friend, looking back.